name is Veronica. I'm a chief sonographer and I work at IMED. I work as a sonographer at IMED. I've been with the company for about 10 years, but I've been doing the chief role for about three years now. So when I was in high school, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I just knew that I loved anatomy and science. So I applied for a Bachelor of Medical Radiation Sciences at Sydney Uni. Um, after three years, I qualified and I became a radiographer. So this is someone that takes x-rays and CTs. So I got a job in the clinic. I worked for a few years and I was offered an ultrasound training position, which of course I jumped at. So um, that's a paid traineeship. So you study part-time and you work full-time and it takes about three to four years, but it is a postgraduate degree. So after about three years, I qualified. I worked as a sonographer. So this is someone that um, does ultrasounds and with a bit of luck and hard work and being at the right place at the right time, I was offered the chief position. <laughs> So I'd say uh, one of my career highlights would be becoming an ultrasound shooter. So um, I'm able to teach the people, um, well the juniors underneath me, I'm able to see them grow and develop and become great little sonographers. So it's been really rewarding um, seeing them learn new things and become really passionate about ultrasounds. So IMED works really closely with the unis. Um, with the unis, um, you're required to do six to eight weeks clinical placement blocks, and that happens a few times in a year. So we usually get uni students come to us, they spend the six to eight weeks with us and they work one-on-one -on -one with our team. Um, they get integrated in our department so they can see what we do, how we work. They get to interact with patients. So um, we teach them all we know and hope that they can take that into the world with them. So I was lucky enough to be given the opportunity to learn ultrasound. Usually when you work as a radiographer for a few years, IMED will um, give you the opportunity to either um, progress your career and learn MRI or ultrasound. So you interview for that position and if you don't get it that year, then of course there's a chance next year afterwards. So we're always trying to learn and develop and um, make sure that you reach your full potential. So I wish people knew that ultrasound isn't just scanning pregnant women all day. We can scan anything starting from your eyes, your lips, your liver, your kidney, basically any body part, we can ultrasound. So working in healthcare, you need to be a really caring and compassionate person. Um, a lot of patients that walk into the clinic, they feel nervous or anxious, they don't know what's wrong with them. So you need to be the type of person that can make them feel comfortable. They need to be confident in your abilities and you do that by communicating really well with them.